It's a Hollywood icon. The Desert Eagle pistol packs power and is made in the USA. Magnum Research's sights are set on meat for the outdoors. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the outdoors. When it comes to handguns, this is probably one of the most famous there is. The Desert Eagle is a Hollywood icon, and this week we have our sights set on Magnum Research to find out how it's made for the outdoors. Everybody wants the 50 AE. It's a big caliber semi-automatic pistol. There isn't anything else on the market like it. The Desert Eagle made its first impression back in the 1980s. It's now been in more than 500 films and TV shows. Over the past 30 years, Magnum Research has owned patents, trademarks, and development of this pistol. From the 1980s to 2009, most manufacturing was done overseas, in Israel. In 2009, Magnum Research started to move production to the U.S., specifically Minnesota. This year will mark the first year that the Desert Eagle is entirely made in the U.S. Magnum Research says it's still the same gun. However, their engineers have improved the manufacturing process. So we start off with the engineering here at the facility, which we do between myself and another engineer. We do the design and the modeling. I spent probably the better part of a year reverse engineering this from the prints that I received from uh, Israel, uh, the Hebrew prints that you showed earlier. So do you speak any Hebrew? No, I didn't. So, you, so <laughs> that was difficult, right? Of yeah. Taking those blueprints yeah. and then now transitioning into this. How many parts total are there in a Desert Eagle? There's 81 total. Okay, and so then with a click of a button, you can assemble this gun. When Hollywood calls, Joby answers. It's been used in too many movies to count. Um, <laughs> I know that Demi Moore dual wielded this in uh, Charlie's Angels. Yeah, yeah uh, the Arnold, gold. Arnold Schwarzenegger has used it in multiple movies. I know that he, I think in Terminator, he used the brush chrome model. Uh, in another one, Last Action Hero, he stuck with the black models. Um, Agent Smith in the Matrix movies also carried the, the black model, our standard model. So wow. that's just a few that I can think of off the top of my head. At Magnum Research, they aim to please, if they aim at all. That means a lot. You know, we're a very small company hidden away in central Minnesota. Uh, even if people don't know that Magnum Research is the company behind the Desert Eagle, uh, we still take pride in knowing that it's our product out there that everybody knows. Engineering, assembly, and testing are done at this facility while machining is farmed out to Pequot Tool and Manufacturing. 
We're at uh, Jenkins, Minnesota, Pequot Tool and Manufacturing. Our facility has 167 employees. For the Desert Eagle, we manufacture the frame, the slide, and the barrel. When we come back, we'll learn more about this family-owned and operated shop. Plus, the red-hot production process begins. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Magnum Research, Otter Outdoors, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Banks Outdoors, and by Waltons. Pequot Tool and Manufacturing is family owned and operated. My mom and dad started the business in 1981 along with myself. Four brothers, along with other relatives, and 160 other employees machined the Desert Eagle pistol. And this facility is where all the machining is done for the barrel, slide, and frame. State-of-the-art machines and quality is always number one at Pequot Tool. So we're going to start by making the barrel, which is made of steel. It starts out as a nine pound block. However, these three machines behind me whittle it down to just 12 ounces. The first two steps of machining shave away six pounds. It's actually turning the outside of the barrel. You can see the simulation on the screen. But look how cool this is, a robotic arm that does it all. It sets this one that it just machined out, and then it's going to grab the next one to go in. The seal is now shaped like a dumbbell. After a little workout, you gotta get your form right, Charlie. Okay. Make sure, you know. Yep. Get a little bend in the knee. I know all the guys are looking at me right now, going like, "You are a dork." <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's off to rifling. So, Lindsay, what we're gonna be doing here is actually putting the rifling in with this brooch here, and we run a high-pressure coolant through, pushing through the barrel to keep all these teeth lubricated, and each tooth slowly cuts away until it's to, to the right size. The rifling reduces the wear on the barrel and enhances the seal between the bullet and the bore. The barrel is then shaped by milling. We're gonna put the Picatinny rail on, and we're gonna put the side milled areas and also the grooves for the frame to set in. Once it gets its grooves, it's heat treated. This is our induction hardening machine. Two coils heat the lug area until it's red hot. That's so cool when it's just red hot like that. Get your marshmallows ready. <laughs> <laughs> the barrel is then done, so it's on to the slide. The slide starts out as a forging, so it's somewhat in the shape of the, the finished product, so less material removal you know, to be done. There's three handlings within the machine, and it comes out complete. And after the barrel and the slide comes the frame. And this is Nick, and he's in charge of this part of the milling process. Hi, Nick. Hi. And the difference with the frame, Lindsay, is that we're using 7075 aluminum. Time now to turn this into this. We mill one whole side and create the profile. Then we flip it over and we mill the other side of the frame. Third handling, we mill the muzzle area and the magazine. And then fourth handling, we put on the Picatinny rail. Coolant sprays while the tools work, which means the process is hard to see. The laser engraver etches the caliber, name, and made in the USA into the pistol. Same thing on the slide, Magnum Research, Pillager, Minnesota, USA. And then on this side, we put Desert Eagle Pistol, made in USA. Robots will cut down on the time it takes for quality control. 
the CMM, the probe, is actually scanning the parts. Quality is everything in our parts. If we don't send a quality product to our customer, it's not worth anything. Um, we take a lot of pride in that and using our CMM machines to check something that has 260 different dimensions of the part and it does it in 24 minutes versus somebody taking one or two days to actually physically do it by hand. Then finished parts are shipped to Magnum Research. After the break, we'll head back to Pillager, Minnesota. It's time to assemble, then fire. Plus, find out what this guy's doing here. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Topper Easy Lift, Aquarius Home Services, Mulching Mania, Minnesota Trailer Manufacturing, and by Central Boiler. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors in Pillager, Minnesota. Hi, Joby. Hey, Lindsay. Welcome to Magnum Research. We're excited to show you how we make the Desert Eagle pistol. It can be anything from a, a great range gun to act an actual hunting accessory or hunting pistol. So it's very accurate. We've seen engineering. Time now for the full tour. Here at Magnum Research, we have 24 employees on site. We specialize in the manufacturing and assembly of pistols, revolvers, rimfire rifles. I think it's a big deal for a lot of people to have something that's made here in the United States. So it was quite an accomplishment to bring that manufacturing back here to the United States and keep it as local as we did, like right here in Minnesota. So these are the frames that we made at Pequot Tool and Manufacturing, and this is how they arrive at Magnum Research. There's 81 parts in the Desert Eagle. When the parts are brought in, they're run through a quality control department. As they're moved out to the floor, uh, each assembly worker will build a set of firearms start to finish. Who's locked in here? <laughs> <laughs> that would be Jim and Scott. Uh, hey guys. Handle our parts room. <laughs> Just look at all of these different parts. Mr. Organized completes the work order. The barrels and the slides need to be buffed. We're gonna polish the, the stainless steel barrel and we're gonna polish the stainless steel slide. Well, they come in from Pequot Tool with a, a matte finish. We polish the sides of the barrel um, the sides of the uh, slide right here. We also polish the bottom and uh, we polish the flats right here on the, the slide. This is very important. Guys like their guns to look good. This, this is where the guys really have to pay attention. When I was little, the, one, the two guns that I really wanted was an AR-15 and a Desert Eagle pistol. And now, 16 years later, I am the shop supervisor for Magnum Research, which is it's pretty cool. When it comes to polishing, we have strict supervision around here. I see that. <laughs> we have a factory Sasquatch. Sasquatch approves, so it's off to assembly. And this is Scott. Hi. And he can actually assemble it in less than five minutes, right? Right. With your help, we can. <laughs> oh, with my help. Yeah, yeah, I will slow the process down. But OK, so what is step one? Well, the three main parts is we got a, a frame assembly, and then we'll have the slide assembly, and then last, the barrel assembly. Scott was one of the first employees we hired when we decided to start the manufacturing of the Desert Eagle here. Uh, he stood out as an exceptional worker and took over the lead for the Desert Eagle assembly. First up, it's trigger assembly. Scott can assemble nearly 25 guns in a 10-hour shift. He also tests every pistol. You know, if you think about that in terms of dollars, it's uh, close to a million dollars in ammunition that one man has fired through that gun. It's precision painting. We just need a little red dot. Look, it even matches my there nails. You go. Perfect, right? Okay, next up is the rear sight. 
for the final assembly. We'll put the gas piston in, the recoil spring. There's two holes on the frame. And that's where the legs of these springs will go in. Like so, you open up the barrel lock. It just drops in and you flip it up. It's final. Up next, you're not going to want to miss this. Ready okay. to go live? Ready to go live. Whenever you're ready. Okay. In three, two, one. <laughs> that boy is powerful. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Appledorn's Resort. Select Minnesota GMC dealers. Powers Machining Incorporated. And by Minnesota Horse and Hunt Club. Hey there, I'm Bill Shirk. And I'm Lindsay Hayes. If you're a fan of Made for the Outdoors and want to know more about upcoming episodes, be sure to like us on Facebook. And also follow us on Instagram for cool behind the scenes looks at what we're working on. And you know what? If you've got an idea for a show, be sure to drop us a note. Time now for testing. Check out this bullet. Enter at your own risk. You're the Desert Eagle veteran around here, right? Yep. Scott's marked more than 500,000 rounds of ammo testing the Desert Eagle. And the guys that said that's pretty much over $1 million worth of ammo. Right. Is this kind of the fun part of the day? Well, it was, but you know, now we use an arm just to save our arms, so. Has it gotten easier over a the years? Easier, a lot easier. <laughs> so what you do is you just slide this in and clamp it. And then you got a plunger here, you know, after you lock and load it. Yep. It's just firing down this, this tunnel here. First thing we're gonna do before we test fire this thing is we gotta try the safety out to make sure that that works. Now we got it in the safety position. So what we're gonna do is you just hit that plunger button and absolutely nothing should happen as long as it works right. That's good. Do I just, that's it? That's it. Okay. If it passes the test, it's time to fire. Ready okay. to go live? Ready to go live. Whenever you're ready. Okay. In three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't Pretty get over how much I can feel that vibration coming back. <laughs> That boy is Good to go? Good to go. That one's ready to send out? Ready to send. Or we, now we need to go outside and shoot. You're pushing with this hand and you're pulling with that hand and you got a good firm grip on it. Uh, and then you're ready to go. Time now for my first live shot with the Desert Eagle. We're going to start you off with the 357 mag. Uh, that's the beauty of this platform is we can swap from 357 mag to 44 mag to 50 AE all on the same platform very easily. So we'll work our way from the 357 up. Keep the bullseye right above your top side. Gosh, I'm all over the place. The Desert Eagle, I would say, mostly is kind of a showpiece for people. 
After that first round, you always see that smile just creep onto their face, and that's a big satisfaction for us. It takes some time to learn, and once you do, it's an absolute blast. So my group wings are a little low to the right, so let's see if Brett can show us how it's done. It's one of those guns that everybody needs to own one of. It's big and flashy, you know, we make it in a titanium gold, a brush chrome, we made it in nickel, the tiger stripe that everybody loves, 24 karat gold. While this may be best known as a showpiece pistol, it's also definitely made for the outdoors. You ready, Josh? Yeah. You ready? All right, ready? Three, two, one. I just still, that power.